Hi guys, welcome back. So nice to see you. Now that it's fall and we're getting closer to the holidays, I thought it would be nice to show you some of my favorite things to put in a travel kit and some of my favorite um, actual containers to contain all of these things that we like to travel with. This is gonna be focusing on makeup. So if you'd like to see what sort of skincare ride or dies I take with me in travel, um, please let me know in the comments and we can do a dedicated video to that. I'm one of those people where I have like, I have my makeup bag and I have my skincare bag. So the two things are separated because there's just, I bring entirely too much of all of these things. Um, I'm sure you're the same. It's really hard to pack. If you're one of those people who travels a lot and you've got it like down, then I please make a video and link it and let me know because I would love to see how to pare it down. But these are my travel essentials. Let's dive right in. All right, I'm going to start out with the massive, gigantic travel case that I found. Um, I'd seen it recommended, I think, on Desi's channel. And I mean, there's a woman who knows her makeup and has a ton in her travel kit. So she has this big chonky boy with all these lovely dividers. I really like it because if I'm going on an extended trip, I can use the dividers to really sort of section out and keep things a little more secure. Like if you set the dividers up just right, you can fit like three lipsticks exactly in there and they aren't rolling around, potentially getting opened and damaging things. I'd, I've had a few things open up and travel and you know get damaged or spill and mess up other things. So I'm very sensitive to that and I love things that will let me pack them in nice and securely. So that's why I have like a couple of varieties of sizes of travel bags. This is my favorite big chonky boy. So I'll link this down below. Got it off of Amazon, very reasonably priced. Oh, one of the other things I love about it is there's a zipper pouch to put face masks. And I love to take a few sheet masks with me when I travel because it's a nice way to bring skincare that is less likely to spill or get lost. And it, it's a recurring theme of things getting spilled and ruining other things. It's like, never again. <laughs> and also there's a section in that front where you can store brushes. So. And it's nice and plastic, so you can wipe it clean after you're done, but you can fit a decent number of larger brushes in here, which is really nice. Some of the travel kits are more designed for like the smaller eyeshadow brushes, but you could fit some nice big face brushes in this one. So that's my favorite long-term travel kit in case I'm going somewhere for like two weeks, you know, a nice, nice long vacation. Haven't done that in a while, but you know, <laughs> we can dream, right? And now this next item is just a brush kit. I did receive it as a Christmas gift. I would not have thought of the brand otherwise. I love the kind of tropical vibes, but yeah, I had no idea um, Lug even existed, but now I do and I love it. One of the cool things about it is you can fold up the case. You can pull this little strap and then it can sit up and hold, hold the brushes. So it's kind of nice on the either the desk where you have everything set up or if you're in the bathroom. Again, it's plastic, so it's easy to wipe clean. Looks super cute. And it is a little larger, so it will fit big face brushes in addition to smaller eyeshadow brushes. But yeah, if I go anywhere, even if it's for a long weekend, this is definitely coming with me. And I have a matching small travel bag, which I'm also completely in love with. Same kind of pattern. You can see there's little pouches on all of the sides of it. So you can store some of the smaller items. I do tend to keep like the little sample sizes, especially of some items I already use and really like. And I like to put them like in the little pouches for travel. And in the top, there's even a little pouch where you can stick um, small items like eye masks or in my case, some contact lenses. <laughs> And the case itself inside is plastic as well. So in case something does happen, it's really easy to clean. It's less likely to leak and get on some of your other items. I haven't tested that. Um, thank, you know, thankfully nothing's broken in one of these yet. So that's really nice, but you know how makeup bags get, there's always a little bit of powder or something that gets in there and I've been able to clean it out really easily. So um, I've linked those. Those are my favorite travel cases at the moment. And now let's get into what I'm putting inside of these cases. I always like to bring a tinted moisturizer and a foundation. 
just in case during the day I want something a little lighter, but I still want some SPF coverage and I want it to be just a simple get ready in the morning. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. Natural Skin Illuminator. So this is in shade 0N1 Petal. And then I've really been into this, especially in the fall, this Lancome, the Tint Edel Care and Glow. This is the shade 120N. This has been really nice and hydrating. It's worn well over the course of the day and it's a little um, more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. So for those evenings or times when you just want a little more, you're ready, you've got two things. So I definitely recommend bringing a tinted moisturizer and a more full coverage foundation. And now moving on to concealer. Um, I do love the Hourglass Concealer, and I find myself bringing that with me sometimes, but I also really like this Giorgio Armani, the, um, what was it? The Power Fabric Concealer. This is a really nice, I know they, they talk about it being very flexible, so as you're moving around, as you're making facial expressions, it doesn't tend to crease as much. So this is kind of a little more industrial strength, right, than the hourglass one. So you can always like just dab on a little bit for daytime, but if you're going out at night, um, this will give you a little more coverage if you need it. Vacations are tough. I mean, sometimes you're getting extra sleep and relaxing. Sometimes your days are packed and you're doing lots of activities. You need a little extra coverage for those dark circles, um, but you're having a great time. So, you know, just cover it on up and keep moving, enjoy yourself. Next, I do have a contour just in case for those nights out when you want to be a little more glam, a little more like, you know, a little more fancy. Um, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I know this has been a favorite of lots of people for many years for good reason. It's amazing. Super easy to put on, just like a little swipe, a little blending. Not a lot of fuss. Also, it travels really well. Uh, some of the larger contour palettes, I don't know. I don't know why, but like a lot of contour, if it isn't liquid form or cream, they tend to be in these big chonky palettes. So I don't really feel like traveling with that. So I do like a more liquid or cream contour. And after that, if you're just looking to bronze up the skin, I do like traveling with a smaller item when possible. And I happen to have a little version of this Laura Mercier bronzer. This is bronze 03. This is a nice shade. Sometimes you have vacation vibes. Sometimes you want a fake vacation vibe. So this one's like a little darker than I'll usually use, but it builds really nicely. So you can go in lightly and just put on a little color. And if you really want to like shush it up, you can add more. So since it's flexible like that, I like to bring this for travel because you want to bring as few items as possible. And then for a blush, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk. Yeah, from the Pillow Talk collection, Cheek to Chic. <laughs> so this is well worn. And you can see there's a little bit of a highlight in the center. So if you want to look like a little more glammed up for evening, you can sort of swirl around, get a little, little bit of all of it. But if you just want like a little bit of blush, you can just pick up some of the blush along the outside and do that. So again, things with options are always nice for travel. And this is pretty universal. You can wear it evening, daytime. So this is a favorite for that. And then for a face powder, I do like um, powders that are loose inside of their containers if I'm at home and I have the luxury of not traveling anywhere. But if I am going somewhere, then I like to have a pressed powder and I have been loving the Kosas Cloud Set. This is shade Breezy. So this has been great. I have traveled with this a few times. It does stay together really well. I haven't had any trouble, you know, knock on wood so far. So this is lovely. It sets nicely under the eyes. It's good for the whole face. And yeah, multi-use is the name of the game here. So in many situations, the cloud set works delightfully. And now if we want a little bit of a highlight, again, a more universal highlight for me at least is the Cover FX Moonlight. So you can layer this on, put a little more for the evenings, or you can just brush on a little bit for the daytime. And this, this highlighter has, has done pretty well. It's traveled nicely. 
yeah, Moonlight is the one. So cover FX, classic. And for brows, I mean, there's there's nothing else. It's gonna be the benefit, give me brow. This is definitely my all time favorite. Free purchased this so many times. This happens to be the big size just because <laughs> even if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'll still brush on a little bit of brow coverage just to help you look a little more put together and awake. It's like this, some mascara, little lip gloss, you're good to go. Speaking of lip gloss, if I'm just using gloss all by itself, I love the Dior Lip Maximizer. Very hydrating, it really feels like, it doesn't necessarily plump it up in that way where it's like cinnamon and your lips are swollen and super irritated, which is why they're bigger and plumped. No, this is just hydrating, so that instead of having those little crevices and sad, at least for me, kind of sad looking lips, <laughs> this gives them lots of volume just because they're more hydrated and happy. So your, your lips are their best selves. Whenever I use this, this is basically in my purse with me at all times. Great product. If I want a gloss with a little more, a little more glitter, a little more zhuzh, um, I have the Fenty Lip Gloss here in Fussy. I think this was the first lip gloss color. I know that there's more now, but I still I still find myself loving fussy. This goes on nicely over lipstick or all by itself to dress dress up your look a little bit. And then if I can only bring one lip pencil, <laughs> I try to bring one that matches most of my favorite shades. And to be a good color, I can just kind of wear, put a little gloss over it if I don't feel like doing a whole lipstick, because I know lip, um, lip liner with a little gloss tends to last a little longer. This is the Laura Mercier in Plumberry. It does require sharpening, but I do find that those, those last a little longer and they're a little nicer. So if you just sharpen it before you go, if you're not too aggressive and you know, cross your fingers, everything will be fine. And then for the lipstick to go with it, um, this is the holiday packaging, which lets me know it's probably time to get a new one. <laughs> it's a little hack, you know, if you if you know, oh, I'm gonna forget when I bought my lipstick. I just like to get the holiday one. Um, this is the Lancome in Potetra. It's just so cute. It's such a pretty package. They always have such nice holiday ones, and especially this is a staple shade of theirs, so they usually have this in some kind of like a dolled up holiday one. So with the Sephora sale and the Holiday collections coming out very soon. Be sure to subscribe so you can check out my video with all of my recommendations for that. And then a color I recently discovered from doing the blurred lip tutorial. Um, I'll link that down below too. That was so much fun to do. It's just a nice way to put on lipstick and have it wear a little longer. Cause again, when you're on vacation, when you're out for a whole day, you just, you don't want to be touching up all the time. So this Chanel color, Rouge Allure, L'Extrante, I think is the shade. It's a little more red than I usually wear, um, but when you're doing the blurred lip thing and you're just like tapping on a little bit of it, you can even just use your finger. You don't have to worry about taking a special brush for it. It just gives you a lot of options. So if you want to, you're going out, you really want like the bright red, you can layer it on. If you're just going out, you wanna like dab on a little bit for a little color. This is lovely, this has been very useful and I like it more than I expected, so that's always fun. And for a lip balm, you really want something nourishing at night. I love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. If you've traveled either by car, by airplane, you've been somewhere for hours, you always get dehydrated. This really puts some life back in your lips if you need even more than the <laughs> Dior Lip Maximizer can do. Because as much as I love that, this is, this is where it's at if you really need to do some catch up, if you know what I mean. Also, I just slather it on before I get on an airplane, put it on during the plane ride, when I get off of the plane. It's, it's gotten me through a lot of trips over the years. I'm probably on my third tube of this stuff. All right, now moving on to eyeliners. I have been loving the Emotion Proof Eyeliner from Tom Ford. It's a retractable, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. 
it's really nice. It stays on. It stays exactly where you put it. It doesn't move anywhere. So it's nice to have that sort of reassurance when, <laughs> when you're out and about, you don't really have the ability to touch things up. And then for a black, I really love the Julep When Pencil Met Gel eyeliner. It goes on so creamy, especially over shadows. It can be a little challenging to get the eyeliner to go on really nicely. This just goes on like a dream. It's good if you want to smudge it a little bit. You've got a few minutes to kind of play around with it before it sets down. And this has been great. I've been using this for, it comes in a lot of colors, using this for a few years. And it's something I definitely bring with me on travels. And then for mascara, we have the Chantecaille Faux Clé. It's great. It's got some lash enhancing serum built into it. It doesn't flake. It doesn't go anywhere. I know what I'm getting. I've been using this forever. So again, sometimes you just want something where you know exactly what you're getting for travel. It might not be the best for date night if you really want to zhuzh things up or if you really want to make a statement. But you know, and an every day, I can wear it in the morning, wear it in the evening. I don't want to bring a lot of things with me. This is what's coming. And then for eyeshadows, with the fall vibes in mind, um, also why we brought the brown eyeliner, we have the Urban Decay Born to Run set. In my mind, this just screams fall. You've got some nice neutrals, you've got some browns, you've got a little purple, you can do some fun things, a little green. There's a lot of different options in here, very good day to night, and it is big, so I do find myself putting this in my personal carry-on instead of worrying about trying to cram it in one of my makeup cases. But yeah, it's it's nice. I know we're probably getting near the end of its at least life in terms of expiration, but we're gonna try to take it with us, use it for a few more months, get as much out of it as we can. And then to really add a little sparkle, because there isn't anything too sparkly in there, I do like to bring a liquid eyeshadow. And when you think liquid eyeshadow, you basically think these Stila. This is Starlight. I like Starlight because it isn't too over the top like Kitten is, but it's a really nice gold shimmer. So you can add a little of that on the inner corner just to help pop and really make a look go from day to night in an instant. And then just two more things that aren't really makeup related, but they usually find their way into my makeup case instead of the skincare case. It is two fragrances. We have the Replica by the Fireplace. Just the little travel, little travel spritzer. And I'm a little nervous, but I have, I've had great luck. This cap has stayed in place. And for, yeah, the Maison Margiela Replica by the Fireplace. I like this during the day. It's a nice, very fall, fall sort of fragrance. You really do feel like you're sitting outside by a bonfire, out on an apple orchard somewhere, or you're in a cozy little cabin. You've got your sweater, you've got your fire going. And if you want to go from day to nighttime, another similar, like, complimentary fragrance, I don't feel like I need to go inside, try to scrub off whatever I was wearing um, in order to put on the Tom Ford Soleil Neige. So again, I have a small travel size of this. It's great. It's like a magnetic, magnetic cover. Very stable. It's worked nicely for travel. They're similar enough where one of them feels a little lighter. The by the fireplace, a little bit lighter. And then when you put this on in the evening, they don't really clash. This is just a slightly heavier version of it, almost in my opinion. But yeah, that's what's in my travel makeup kit. I would love to hear some of your favorites. Please let me know in the comments and have fun travels. See you guys later. Thanks.